Hello everybody and welcome to Promise Gaming. Let's try the first expansion for Prison Architect, Psych Ward. It was actually released on console a while back, I believe, but it is now available on PC in the Steam Workshop, which is awesome. It is all about adding the criminally insane into your prisons, because that's what you needed, more chaos. Let's go ahead and create a new prison over here. So there's a couple of new wardens available. We have Hawk Hartman, a former Balesman who makes the security staff more effective. Uh, keys drop less often and stamina replenishes on intake. Pretty helpful. And then we have Dr. Slugworth. When all other prisons deny them, Slugworth opens the doors to the worst criminally insane inmates out there believing he can help because he's a naive idiot. Psychiatrist treatments are 20% more positive, but there are higher chances of receiving the psychopathic criminally insane inmates in the first place. Yeah, that sounds like a recipe for actual disaster. We're going to play with him today. You can also choose new types of guard dogs. So there's the classic one you're all used to. Then there's little companions who are super cute little beagles, I guess. Huskies who are good in the snow. Dalmatians. Sometimes not even a dog and just a cat. Or maybe you prefer a dire wolf, which is basically a dire wolf. Who would even try to escape? I don't know if these all do different things. I'd be inclined to think that they do. I think the most calming animal we could choose, though, has to be the cat. Not everyone is a dog person, but everyone is a cat person. Except for those with allergies like me, but that's beside the point. We can also choose a few new features when generating our prison. They added in desert plots and also lunar plots, which is weird because I think you can build a prison on the surface of the moon, basically. Weird choice, but okay. We're going to go for a desert plot. Let's see, failure, blah, blah, blah. Criminally insane patients. Absolutely, we need to have that on. Here we go. Welcome to the desert, the perfect place to toss your criminally insane inmates. It's going to be great. Actually, we do have a little bit of extra starting money because I built up a prison in preparation for this video, then sold it so I'd have a little extra starting cash so you don't have to sit around quite as often. Anyway, in the desert, it looks like you're actually surrounded by hay, not sand. And there are weird green cacti everywhere which you can still chop down for wood, though who wants to buy cactus wood? I have no idea. While I go for my standard opening move of placing down fencing everywhere before I forget, let's go ahead and take a look at some new objects that are in the game. There's a lot of different types of walls that have been added. So you got your white walls and oriental style walls and fancy classy walls and cushioned walls and so on, fence gates, that's all pretty nice, some new flooring, loads of new objects, including a bunch of signs if you're interested in that, or some outdoor tables, bathroom sinks and hand dryers and so on, lots of new stuff to look at over here. Also gravestones, because apparently every time that somebody dies in your prison, they are obligated to give you a free gravestone which seems sort of sadistic, and I want to create a giant graveyard, but we'll, we'll try not to upset the, the legal counsel a little bit if possible. Uh, staff, there is now a psychiatrist. It's a special staff member who provides criminally insane inmates with consultation. So it's kind of like the psychologist, but it's specifically for the criminally insane. So let's go ahead and start with some of the basics. Uh, I got a basic utilities room and some storage, also a little reception area. We know we're going to need some offices for all of our psychologists to experiment upon our criminally insane patients, so let's go ahead and plan down for those for now. I'm not really worried about a very efficient prison just for this video, so we're going to space things out as much as I need to just to make sure we get it all done correctly the first time around. One thing that's really cool, in this expansion they have improved the clone tool a substantial amount. So if I take this for example, we can take this entire area and yes, it does rotate now. Thank God the clone tool works. Makes me so happy. And then let's see, just across from reception, I think we want to have a couple of different holding cells. Now, there are a few different cells that have been added into the game with the criminally insane patients. Obviously, they need to be protected from themselves. They need to be able to have padded rooms. So those have now been added into the game. You can place down some padded holding cells or padded solitary cells, or padded small cells, etc. And that actually can take care of your criminally insane patients. So in my case then, just so I'm covering my bases and we always have some place to store our prisoners, we're going to place down one padded and one regular holding cell block. Anybody who comes into this prison can be taken care of in some way. Now one thing that's a little bit weird about the padded holding cell is it doesn't actually start padded for some reason, so you can actually place down new padded floor which is good for safety needs for the criminally insane. But we also, I think, can replace the walls with something padded as well, because these are right now, I think, just regular concrete. Uh, let's see. There is a cushioned wall here. A wealthier leather look to them. That's not quite what I'm looking for. Maybe it's fine just to place down the padded flooring? I don't know. If people start bashing their heads against the wall, I guess we'll figure it out. 
All right, now that we've got a very basic prison set up, let's go ahead and open up the prisoner intake. Now, let's see. We could deliberately bring in only the criminally insane, and you can see that they bring in a huge payment. So taking care of the criminally insane is a little bit... A little bit difficult. Then there's the prisoner transfer, which is currently unavailable to me, but I guess this is for the absolute most hardened, dangerous criminals of all time. Not going to worry about that right now, though. Let's go ahead and fill up capacity with medium security prisoners, just so we have a basic cash flow. Because at the moment, you know, I've kind of blown through a whole load of money making a nice look in prison. But then we're going to focus on bringing in the criminally insane, because I want to play with them. They seem like the most fun. Uh, that's kind of weird. I just saw deaths one today, and then it went down to zero. Did we resuscitate? No, no, the person's definitely dead. I don't really... Okay, well... Huh. That was bizarre. I guess we just happened across into the next day. So I love this clone tool. It was so easy to set up another one of these uh, cell blocks in, like, no time flat. Absolutely beautiful. And we seem to have a pretty well-functioning prison. A lot of the needs been met. We're looking solid so far. Really not too bad. I'm just working on getting a... Uh, a shop and a library up, and then all of our luxuries and literature needs should be met. So now, let's start focusing on building up a proper psych ward, because that's the whole point of this expansion. Wow, some people are clearly very skilled at smuggling, by the way. Two guys over here, I think this guy and this guy right here, each had like 15 cell phones each. I guess I know who's working in the shop. Anyway, all right, so let's go ahead and go to the quick build tool. Uh, so we want to set up some... Padded small or padded medium cells? It kind of depends, I guess. I guess I kind of want the criminally insane to be the most comfortable of everybody. Because, really, who wants to take the risk with the crazies, right? Which may seem slightly insensitive, but it's all thematically appropriate, I, I promise. Let's go ahead and set up a whole bunch of these cells. I need to be able to ha handle at least 10 for a grant, but I'm going to set up for, let's say, let's say 12 for now. We'll do something kind of like this. Um... And then I'll leave some extra space, so if I want to set up some sort of a special common room, we can. Somebody needs a cell. What do you need? Oh, good! We have our first crazy person here already. Okay, he's criminally insane, he has sickness, and he's extremely stoical. So one of the cool things they added in, in addition to the fact that some people are, you know, criminally insane, you can also find different traits for the characters, so they have different reputations. In this case... Sickness, prone to throwing up and soiling themselves, extremely stoical, will not become suppressed when locked in solitary or in the presence of guards, they don't really care. There's a whole bunch of different behavioral traits available now for all of your prisoners, and some of them can be a little difficult to deal with, believe it or not. Uh, we need to hire some orderlies, by the way. That's a special type of guard that has been uh, added into the game. Specially trained in the handling of the criminally insane. My understanding... Let's see, it actually says right here. There it is. Normal guards are prohibited from attacking criminally insane inmates as they may hurt them in the process. So only orderlies are allowed to actually physically restrain the criminally insane without harming them. So you want to make sure you have at least one of these guys sitting around ready to go. All right, so we'll have a bunch of nice, comfy cells ready. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use... Uh, I guess we'll just use some classy green walls for now. Let's make sure we get the foundations properly set up so I can finish the rest of this building. There we go. Get all of that set. Okay. I'm pretty sure, by the way, that they did fix the foundation tool. You guys remember how you used to be able to lay, like, little lines of foundation like that, and it would set walls up all over the place, and then you place down some more foundation, and it breaks down all the walls? Well, as you can see here, I did just lay down a whole bunch of foundations, and it actually has kind of a little highlighted gray area saying where the walls are going to be. So, hallelujah, I think it might not actually break everything this time, which is awesome. You know something? I think I'm going to set up a couple of special psychiatrist offices right over here in the criminally insane ward as well. So psychiatrists, again, should be able to provide specialized counseling to the criminally insane. We need to have at least two of them, apparently, for... Um, for this grant to be complete. So I'm going to assume that that's a good number for 10 plus criminally insane patients. So we'll start with that. Okay, we have a psych ward. Nice and sterile looking. So I think it's time we go to the intake and say, Hey, I'd like to bring in my criminally insane patients. All nine of them. I'm going to get $24,000 for bringing these guys in. Good lord. That is quite a bit. I think one of my guards died. Oops, okay, that's fine, though. Yeah, alright, so only nine, though. Don't I have several more cells than this? 
Maybe some of them got locked in solitary or something, I'm not sure. I feel like we should be able to hold a little bit more than that, but okay. That's fine, maybe I can only handle nine. Maybe there's a maximum to how many they're willing to give you at a time, I don't know. That actually might be the case. Oh yeah, sorry, there just aren't that many prisoners actually available. There is a single super criminal available, who I will be bringing in, because we can, I guess. Um, but there we go. Alright, so staff, I need to set up a couple of psychiatrists. One, two... Badoom. All right, so they've got their own offices. So there they are. They look exactly like Sigmund Freud. And uh, they'll be sitting there and telling them about how their mother ruined their lives. Okay, now here's an example of one of our new criminally insane patients who apparently is not happy. And there's a little bar over his head, and it seems to be getting worse and worse, saying right now he's agitated. So what is going on with you exactly? He's strong, so he hits super duper hard. He is insane, so he needs sessions. Uh, he's an insomniac and doesn't need sleep, and he's hyperactive. Oh, good, a hyperactive, strong, criminally insane... Yes, no, that... Oh, boy, that's gonna be a lot of fun to deal with. Okay, I need to get another orderly, I think. Um, so, what's going on with you? Looks like you attacked a prisoner. Serious injury, murder. You... you murdered some... Oh, well, okay, he's already murdered some... Fine. Uh, we probably should get some padded solitary cells, because I think that's the issue, is we can't actually do anything with him right now. So let's go ahead and set up at least a couple of those. Um, I'm not sure if putting the criminally insane person in very tight, cramped spaces is a good idea or not, but, I mean, is worth a shot! For everybody else, though, you can see that over time, the little bar over their head is getting lower and lower, which means they feel nice and comfortable and safe in their padded cell. So who else do we have? We have Felix Davies, sentenced to six years for torture. Oh, okay, good, yes. May Knight may attack our staff, cause damage to the prison, attempt to break free. Yeah, he pled guilty to torture, by the way. Character, oh, this guy is strong, he's stoical, he's insane, he's an insomniac, he's depressed, claustrophobic, and psychopathic. Great combination. What about this guy here? Alex Mathwani. Pickpocketing. Criminally insane pickpocket. Okay, he's strong, quick, and hyperactive. Uh-huh, what about you? We've got, he's sick, outbreaks, prone to violent outbreaks and damaging the environment around him. He's also fearless and is not intimidated by armed guards. Oh, yikes. What about you? Let's see. Aggravated uh, vehicle theft. Okay. He's extremely stoical. Just does not care about anything, including property rights, apparently. Yeah, um, yikes. Okay. These are some very scary peoples. Ooh, I just realized we should have brought in a super dangerous prisoner just now. Um... Who could it be, though? It's not Hen, surely. Hen's been here for a while. And working in the kitchen with knives? Terrible idea. Terrible idea. Okay. Criminally insane. Yeah, we got quite a few in here. It doesn't say which one was the prisoner transfer on who's absolutely super duper dangerous. And I'm about positive that it wasn't Hen. False imprisonment. Seven years. You were convicted of false imprisonment? I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure how that works out, but okay, that's fine. Yeah, I don't know. I was kind of hoping we were going to get one guy who was absolutely nuts and would go on a rampage all the time, but it doesn't appear that's the case. So the solitary cells that are padded seem to have done the job. Got to keep all of that separate, it looks like. Uh, let's make sure we get our cables set up over here once our workmen are done. I also set up a bunch of metal detectors because we were having serious issues with uh, people stabbing everyone lately. I, I don't know how, where that could possibly have arisen, but there you go. Laundry baskets are unable to be unloaded, maybe too small to meet demand. Uh, I suspect that mostly comes down to the fact that I don't have enough laundry machines, but let me add a couple more in there and see if that does the job. If not, okay, fine. We'll just increase the size of the laundry. So do I need to set up a program for the criminally insane? Here's the thing. Like, I'm making this video. I've never done this before. I don't know. Behavioral therapy. There we go. Struggle to control their violent nature. No, this is psychologist. Still worth doing. Pharma uh, pharmacological treatment of drug addiction seems important. Parole hearings, probably good. Psychiatric consultation. All criminally insane inmates require regular one-on-one -on -one calming sessions with our psychiatrist to help reduce their growing feeling of suppression. What, you feel suppressed? Are you kidding me? I don't know where you're getting that idea. Lack of psychiatrist help can trigger violent outbreaks and other unique reactions from these prisoners. Yikes, okay, uh, cool. Well, let's go ahead and get some of those set up then. Um, yeah, absolutely, okay. No equipment for behavioral therapy. What, do I not have enough of a psychologist session? Wait, what's the problem here? I have a psychologist, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there we go. Each prisoner requires a wide sofa. 
Oh, well. Easily fixed. One second. Okay, so how are we doing over here? Uh, let's see. We have an agitated prisoner who is sleeping. Extremely stoical and sickness. This guy is also agitated, but he is relaxing. It does appear to be going down, though. So again, as long as you keep them semi-isolated away from the rest of the groups, maybe they're okay. Three escapees! No! Uh-oh. And the power went out. No! The criminally insane inmates are going to be super-duper agitated by that. I can imagine. They'll be freaking upset. Ah! Crap! Get the power on! Get the power on! Dear God! There we go. Lights back on. Okay, it was just a blip. Fortunately, most of them were sleeping at the time, so I'm sure it wasn't all that bad. You know, it's funny. I just realized I'm assigning dog handlers to things, but um, they're cats. So how does that work? This guy is now just punching randomly at the wall, at the air. No, not the wall. Sorry. He's just getting his frustration out, just punching randomly. It's like, whoo, ha, yeah, if someone came after me, I'd get him. Weird. I'm also a little concerned about an unstable, currently very agitated prisoner who is walking around here amongst everyone else. We might just see this guy snap and kill somebody. Eh, no, he's holding, his, he's holding his anger together. I'm waiting for him to go Incredible Hulk on people. I mean, looking at all these guys flooding out, I'd be agitated personally. Yeah, maybe we need to keep these guys, uh, slightly separate. <laughs> Yeah, I think we give them, um, I think we give them some separate yard time, don't you think? I think we give them separate yard time. So what exactly do these cats do for me? I mean, do they sniff things out? Do they meow when they smell contraband? Because I kind of feel like they probably wouldn't. What's the point of having the cat? I thought maybe it would be like a therapy, like, uh, emotional support animal or something that people would want to pet, but now I'm kind of thinking that maybe the cats are useless. I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and place a morgue and then some gravestones right outside, all right? When people die, this is where we take them, and this is the gravestone. We're gonna call this the Walk of Shame. Guards, this means you all failed in your job and some poor innocent or not soul died under your watch. I'm gonna have them come by here every day. I'm gonna try to increase our cell block size a little bit, but here we go. I've got this special cloning tool, which makes it so easy to place things down. Look at this, it's amazing. Um, we'll place them a little bit over here, though. I'm a little concerned we're getting too close to the... to the walls, and they'll easily dig their way out, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't know why Finley over here is just running around in circles. I have noticed every once in a while there's some very bizarre, unexplained behavior from the prisoners. Sometimes they just go running around. I've even seen some just take off their clothes and wave their hands around, screaming like madmen. I wish I could have gotten that on camera. Didn't really pay attention until it was too late. But yeah, so he's just running around, showing that he is, in fact, yes, still criminally insane and not liable for the horrible murders that he committed. Probably. I don't know. Did decide to add in an extra wing of the criminally insane war just because it seems to be going so darn well. And honestly, as long as you take good care of the prisoners, they don't seem outrageously difficult to take care of and uh, make a lot of extra money. So, I don't know. It doesn't seem that difficult. But maybe if you get enough of them together... Of the wrong types, you're gonna have a whole load of violence. What I think would make for a very fun challenge with this psych ward expansion would be to try to recreate something like Arkham Asylum, you know? A full prison dedicated to nothing but the criminally insane. That would be actually pretty darn fun, and if I were, for example, to sell my prison, which is already worth $500,000, and start over. That's probably what I would do. Make sure I have enough money, go ahead and set up all the research I need through bureaucracy, get the orderlies and all that, and then boom. One gigantic asylum. Oh, that would actually be kind of fun. If you guys think I should do that as a series, do let me know. Otherwise, I think this expansion looks pretty straightforward. It's uh, $6 on Steam, so not outrageously expensive for a bit of extra content. It does have a lot of new objects, some quality of life improvements, the pathing and the intelligence seems to be better, the clone tool working is amazing, new walls, new floors, new doors, signs, whatever the heck else you want. It's got some pretty cool stuff to it, but mostly it comes down to the criminally insane, and the new behavior system is actually pretty darn cool. I like it. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed, and if so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.